Hey guys, I wanted to take out some time to talk about the Quicksilicon platform and my recently launched RTL design course. So this is how the landing page of the platform looks like and it pretty much tells what you can expect from the course. It currently just talks about the RTL design course and showcases some of its unique features. Let's quickly jump into the course content and see what this course really offers. Currently the course consists of 25 problems and there is a plan to add more in the future. Uh, the course also promises a assessment section which gets unlocked as soon as you complete all of these 25 problems. The assessment is a way to test your newly acquired skills and as well as a way to earn your certification. As you can see that it tells me to subscribe to the course in order to unlock this module but there are some modules which are freely available. So let's take a look at the FIFA flush problem, which is supposedly a hard problem on the platform. And uh, as you can see now, the screen gets divided into two sections. One which has the problem statement along with a few other tabs. And uh, the other one is the place where you can see the code editor. So if you look into the code editor, it has an option to choose one of the bindings. We really didn't want to get into the Emacs versus Vim battle which is why we supported both of the bindings and I'm a Vim guy so I'll probably just stick to that. Uh, the next drop down menu allows you to select your favorite HDL of choice. As you can see that we support all of the three major HDLs that is System Verilog, Verilog and as well as VHDL. So that's pretty cool. Um, I generally write RTL in System Verilog so that's what I'll be selecting. And on the left hand side if you look at the other tabs you have the solution tab which gives the detailed RTL implementation in all of the three HDLs. So this is the system Verilog solution. Uh, if you scroll down you will find the Verilog one and at the end you have the VHDL solution as well which is neat. And if the solution isn't enough the platform also offers you the complete video explanation of the solution. So this uh, is yeah this video is pretty intense and it goes more than one and a half hours long so if i quickly play this around you can see that it's me talking about what uh, the problem statement tells us to do and how we are supposed to design this particular proc uh, this is a two-part video where in the first part i'll talk about the micro architecture overview and in the second part we'll go through the RTL implementation in System Verilog. So this is again me writing the uh, RTL implementation on a text editor, giving you a step-by-step -step overview of why we did this way and what particular hardware block is this HDL corresponding to. So this is really useful and I believe that after going through the video, you will definitely get a better understanding of how a particular design gets converted into an RTL and how a given problem statement can first be converted into microarchitecture and then how that particular microarchitecture can be implemented in your HDL of choice. Uh, and finally, the platform also has a Discord server where you could still go ahead and post any of the queries which you may have. For example, if you are not clear why, uh, why I mentioned a particular thing in the video, you could still go out and you know discuss it on the Discord server where either one of the community members or I would personally respond back to you. Cool, so now let's try to do some simulation here and uh, try to see what happens when we click this run test case button. Uh, currently it is telling me to log in in order to access this feature. So what the platform allows you to do is that you can view the problem statement and as well as all of the other features, but you're not allowed to run simulations until you log in. So I've just logged in and now let's hit the run test case button and see what happens. So as you can see that a window pops up giving me a score of zero which is obvious because I haven't written any RTL and then it gives me the uh, status for the compile which says that it was successful but the lint failed and it tells me all of the various lint errors which are present in my code right now. Apart from that it also has a, a list of test cases where we can see that all of these are failing right now and some waveform which would help you debug. Right, so let's do one thing and let's try to copy the solution and then hit the run test case button again. Now let's hit the run test cases button again.
hopefully this time we should not get into any of the errors and it should all be clean yes so we see that we get a score of 100 the compilation was successful the length was also successful and all of the test cases also passed you still get the waveforms for the passing cases as well so let's quickly introduce a bug and then try to run this thing again so instead of this let's call it a and then run it again right so this time you do see that there are two tests which are failing and if you scroll down you get a debug message as well where it says that the read data from the FIFO doesn't match the expected write data so the expected and the actual data given out from the FIFO they do not seem to be matched in this particular case which is a good enough information in order to debug why you would be getting into this failure so yeah that's pretty useful and uh, i'm sure that this would be a super helpful tool for people in the vlsi industry i can't imagine how useful this would have been when i was two years into the industry myself i at that point i dreaded rtl debug and used to spend crazy amount of time debugging fails i'm sure that uh, if i had access to such a tool it would have substantially improved my debugging skills and now such a tool exists so i would really want you guys to try it out and if you do try then please do share your feedback and you could either do it right from the website or you could uh, even ping me on linkedin saying that hey rahul we found this and we didn't like this or we really like this particular feature and i'll be very happy to hear your feedback about the quick silicon platform and as well as my rtl design course so i really hope that you guys would give this a try